Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 12.24, okay? It says, the acceleration of a particle traveling along a straight line is A equal to one fourth of S raised to the one half meter per second square, where S is in meters. If V is equal to zero, S is equal to one, when T is equal to zero, determine the particle's velocity at s equal to 2 meters, okay? So, in order to solve this problem, what we're going to do is that we're going to utilize one of the three equations that was given to us in the book, okay? And the equation is that the acceleration times ch the change in position has to be equal to velocity times the change in velocity. Now, when we have this, what we are going to say is that, okay, we have the acceleration, therefore we can plug it in, into our equation. So we will end up with one fourth of S raised to the one half times the change in position has to be equal to velocity times the change in velocity, okay? And then at this point, what we can realize is that everything on my left side is in terms of S and everything on my right side is in terms of V. So what we can do is that we can do an integral on both sides. So let's just start by doing that. And we will have one fourth. And then the integral of s to the one half ds has to be equal to the integral of v dv. Now, the boundaries of these integrals are going to be our initial conditions. So starting at our initial condition until our final either position or velocity. So what do I mean by this? What I mean by initial condition is when t is equal to zero, we're given that the position is equal to one. Therefore, we're going to start from one all the way to our final position. And then that final position, let's just call it s, okay? Same happens with velocity. Velocity is equal to zero when t is equal to zero. So we're going to start from zero all the way to our final velocity that we're just going to call it v, okay? Now when that we have this, we can start doing our integral. So we have one fourth and then the integral of s to the one half should be s raised to the three halves divided by three halves, okay? And then I like to visualize this more, this, uh, denominator part in here better as two thirds okay now it's evaluated from one all the way to s and this has to be equal to the integral of v has to be v squared divided by two and it's going to be evaluated from zero all the way to v okay so now that we have this, what we can do is that we're going to start doing our evaluations on our boundaries. And we'll start with the first one in here. We have S and we're gonna replace it by another S. So basically our term just stays the same. Then we will have minus and we're going to replace our S for a one. So we'll have two multiplied by one raised to the three halves by one raised to any power is going to be one. So we're gonna have two times one and then therefore we will just have two thirds, okay? And this should be equal to, now we're going to have V replaced by V. So we'll end up having the same thing, V squared divided by two minus V being replaced by zero, zero squared is zero and zero divided by two is zero. So therefore we just have zero in here, okay? And I'm not going to write it. I'm just going to erase it in here because any number minus zero is the same number. So now that we have this, what we can say is that, okay, what was the motive of all this integral part is that we wanted to find the particle's velocity. And we found out that we have velocity in here. So let's just start by solving for velocity in this side. So we have the velocity square has to be equal to, so we're going to take this two and we're going to pass it to the other side to multiply, okay? So we will have, if we multiply this two multiplied by one fourth, we will end up having one half multiplied by two s to the three halves minus two 
and I'm going to put them together into a same same fraction because it's the same denominator okay now from here we can also say that this half can be cancelled out with this two and this two okay it's the same as saying that we have one half multiplied by two times s raised to the three halves minus one divided by three okay and here so basically what I was saying is that these two will cancel out with these two in here. And we will end up saying that b squared has to be equal to one third of s raised to the three halves minus one. Okay. Now we still haven't solved entirely for v. We need to do a square root on both sides. So we're going to have that v is equal to the square root so we're going to have the square root of one third multiplied by s to the three halves. So this is a two minus one. Okay. Now, if we go back to our problem statement, we realize that they want the velocity, but when the position is equal to two. Okay. So all we have to do is that say, okay, our position has to be equal to two meters. Therefore, our velocity is going to be equal to, and we're going to have our root, square root of one over three, multiplied by two raised to the three halves minus one, okay? And we're going to plug this into our, our calculator, and when we do that, we will find out that our velocity is going to be equal to 0 0.781 meters per second, okay? And this happens if we round up onto three decimal points. Okay, guys, so this should be our final answer. If you guys like the video, please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.